Hi people, I'm still here. <laughs> people wonder why I'm not answering the phone. I'm busy doing this floor. This floor was the worst. It had the uh, the bottom of the of the uh, that rubber stuff in the bottom of your car was stuck to the floor. So anyway, I bought I rented this machine. It's got a knife on the front of it, and by golly, it does a good job and. Uh, Saves me a lot of headaches, so I'm just going to put my mask on here for a minute. Yeah, I'll show you how it works. <clears throat> Go up here first to the corner. So it takes it down to the bare concrete. And that's what the uh, the carpet people want it down. There, knock the shovel over. Then you just sweep it out. And there might be a few pieces that you've got to go over. There's a couple of little spots I got to. Get there in the corner, but that's no problem. And I had a water leak this morning in my toilet. <laughs> the, uh, there we go. And Connor was down here rolling in this mud. What a time I had. Cleaning him up. So I have to keep the door shut. Hello? He's a little imp, that fella. So I had a leak in the toilet there. And the <coughs> that little uh, hose that drains into this, the overflow pipe popped out and sprayed out all over the floor. Of course, I didn't know. But anyway, I got that fixed. Whew, that thing's heavy. Anyway, so that's how you strip the That's the machine there, got a blade on the front of it. So that's how you strip the floor. I'm almost done here now. Almost finished. Then I just got to wait for the guys to come measure this week, and then I think it's next Tuesday or Wednesday they're going to lay the carpet. I see all the baseboards, I got to take them all up and I number them. I start in that corner, I go one, two, three, four, right around. And that's the way you put them back <coughs> by number. <coughs> anyway. 
All the cats are sleeping upstairs. And when I had the leak, it came down through the uh, into the basement, and I had a shot back the basement floor, shot back upstairs, and then I had to. Uh, uh, my comforter was out there, and it got all wet, so I washed it. Anyway, <laughs> that was my my stepdaughter had a uh, a velvet picture, and it was ugly. So that was a beach blanket I got over in Prince Edward Island, and uh, I put that over the velvet picture, and. Uh, so that's all that is, it's just a, an old beach blanket, but you never know. Anyway, thanks for watching people, and we'll see you tonight. There should be raccoons tonight because it's, it's uh, almost 60 degrees here today. Anyway, we shall chat later.